my name is Sophia the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my book review on Anne Frank the Biography of Reverse and Expanded Edition by Melissa Mueller. I love this book. I finished this last night and it gave me chills. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I love this so much. This is definitely one of my favorite books. I could definitely see myself read this again in the future. For anyone who likes biographies, the Anne Frank story, or anything with the Holocaust and World War II, and really wants to go deeper into the lives of the Franks and their friends and their families, you should check this out. I got this, I think, for three or three ninety nine, four ninety nine at Hastings. It was on it was on like one of their sale racks and it was totally worth it. I enjoyed it. Um it took me I should have finished it about a day earlier. But it was just, it was like really interesting and everything, but it was so well done that I couldn't just sit down and read 100 pages like I could if it was like a non-fiction book. So obviously, um, I have a pretty fast reading speed, but when it comes to things like this, I read it a little slower. And I'm also hesitant to read it too fast because when I was younger, I just read, you know, like three or four books a week during the summer and I wouldn't remember anything. Especially when I'm reading for my book I'm writing or for research, I want to be able to take it in bit by bit piece by piece, and so reading it slower helps with that. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It was a great story. Um, interesting, I didn't realize this, that I started reading this about, I guess it was five or six days ago, when I started reading this. Most of them, I read another book by her. It was The Garden of Eden and Hell, about the woman who went to the resident concentration camp, and she was a violinist, and that's how she survived, by playing the violin there. Um, and so that, that was really interesting and cool, so I can say I've read two of her books. So I think I'm going to try to read some of her other books. I think she's written a few books, but she's just very talented, and I think very well researched, and I just really enjoyed it. I think she really did well of expressing the feelings of a teenage girl growing up during World War II and the Holocaust, and, you know, trying to relate with everybody in her family, you know, and how... Maybe at some point she seemed, you know, maybe rude and rambunctious, you know, and maybe she was a little bit, but they were in, you know, we're all, they were in a horrible time. They were living with a bunch of people, you know. You know, she obviously had problems with her fans. Every family has problems, you know, and with people's different personalities and their strength and weaknesses, they rub off on each other. They were locked up for almost two years not seeing daylight, um, you know, being scared if they're going to be found out, they're going to die, they had no idea what was going to come, and I think just made everyone more critical of everyone, and it was just great to see how by the end of it, when they were in, when her and her mom and her sister, when they were in, in Bergen-Belsen, and in Auschwitz, how they bonded together, and how they really loved each other, you know, and I hope that they somehow you know, showed, you know, they didn't know they cared about each other, even though they fought, you know, like cats and dogs. But this is just a great book. There's lots of pictures in here of the girls when they were young, Anna and Margot. Um, there's just really interesting perspectives in here. Here, I'm sure there's a picture of the annex. And here's a picture of all of them. There was the all their friends and everything. Um, and something else that really touched me was the afterword by um, Meep Gies. As you guys know, she died in like about 2010. And so before that, she wrote uh, the afterword in this book. And she's talking about how, you know, how did you have the courage to save them, you know? And she said, well, you know, everyone, you know, they're in, they're in a horrible time and human beings should help each other out, you know? Because all lives matter. And she, she thought that question was kind of, crazy because to her, you know, she grew up, you know, her, when she was young age, she was sent away because her parents couldn't afford to feed her. And so she, she knew what it was like to be hungry and starving and eat, and she wanted to help the Franks out, you know, and she thought it was, you know, human being, it was, it was human beings. Um, it was, they needed to help each other out, you know, in time of need. And for those who did it, you know, um, she was talking about, you know, good and evil people were asking how something like that happened to Anne Frank and she grew up thinking that, you know, her mother told her, you know, if you're a good girl, you know, you'll have good things and if you're a bad girl, then bad things will happen to you. And she didn't want to say that, you know, about, about Anne or anybody necessarily, they were good and bad and they deserved what happened to them. 
It's just human beings mess up, make mistakes, and some people's feelings, and they didn't try to stop it. And so the Holocaust happened, you know, World War II happened, lots of things happened. And it was just a very touching, again, just, I love this book. If you guys are interested at all in Anne Frank's story or, you know, any biographical, you should check this book out. I, I recommend it a hundred times. You need to read it. I, just, I loved it. I'll definitely read it in the future. I'll definitely be going back to it from research and for insights on her life. Um, I have read the Anne Frank, the definitive edition. And I'm going to probably be rereading it soon because of this book. And I want to go and read the other versions. I've also read um, um, Anne Frank Remember. And there's actually a movie. So I'm going to try to watch the movie on that. And like make, maybe compare it to do a movie to book adaptation um, comparison video. I well, hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bye.